All right, I'm going to show you, you know, a different, uh, really cool thing. So what I'll do is basically just create a new blank layer. And what we're going to do is just change the blend mode to color burn. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just go to a color picker, the color chooser. And usually through some experience, I've found this is, this works best unless you want to get a certain uh, movie poster color theme going on is just to click something that's already in the image anyways. So here we have the uh, color chooser. I'm just going to click this light blue right here. And we're just going to head, get straight to our gradient tool and make sure we're on foreground and transparent. And just go ahead and start doing some gradient swipes on this new layer that's on color burn. And watch what happens. You notice that it's automatically applying kind of like those layer styles that were already on the layer we're doing it's already applying the effect because we have the layer on color burn to start with so basically we're just taking this foreground color on this foreground to transparent gradient tool and we're just swiping in with the color now by choosing that certain color this uh, you know lightish blue it's taking that color and it's applying this gradient swipe to the entire image on this color burn layer and the blend mode that's where the magic lies All right so you're thinking well wouldn't I want to do it in green on the bottom that's up to you you're the creative professional here so we can do that too we can just create a new layer try something else and there's another way to do it when you're on the brush tools just press alt or option uh, you want to be careful. You want to be careful about what brushes you use. But when you're on the brush mode, press Alt or Option to get your color chooser, and you can just click right there to get the color. Or you can use this. All right, and then switch back to the tool. So let's go back to our gradient, and it's important that we're on foreground to transparent. That way, we can keep adding to it instead of doing a one swipe. So let's change our blend mode here straight to color burn. And of course you you can experiment around with different ones I already have. And this time it's going to apply this green and it's just going to darken the image and just uh, apply that throughout the entire image. So notice that it's not blue anymore. It's going towards a green and this light on this layer on the color burn mode is just mixing with the light beneath. So you can get instant themes by doing this. That's already giving that kind of saturated, denser poster feel just by doing this technique. And notice right here I'm on 78% opacity. You can lower the opacity or raise it. You're going to get stronger effect obviously at the top. But uh, the more you do this, because of the uniqueness of color burn, the denser it's going to be. So if you keep swiping, it's just going to go to black, basically. It's going to be overkill. Now, where areas where are lighter, they're going to still shine through because of the unique color burn is burning through, so the light areas are shining through. So on darker areas, it'll keep darkening them. So the effect essentially is just going to be stronger the more you do it. Gradient fill, unreflected. All right. And let's go ahead and add some type. And let's find a font that works with this. Um, I think Vivaldi would work good. Where is this? There we go. And we can just choose a layer style. Uh, this is optional, of course, or you can go straight to the effects yourself. So it's about you finding something that works. It's a nice, nice one right there. Not bad. Nice. All right, I like that one anyways. 
and then maybe we can add some more text. Double click to highlight our text editing and let's lower that down. Move that over there. That actually works by having that green. It complements that very, very nicely on the darker. All right. So now, and actually I could have done that a lot faster. I was just teaching you like the initial part. So actually let's just do that from scratch then just to show you how fast it can be done. So we've got this stuff here. We'll leave it. So we're on this background layer, right? To get that effect, let's hide that right now. Okay. Create a new layer. And then let's put it straight on color burn or multiply. Overlay also works too. And choose the color theme that you want. So if we want to have like a bluer theme, we can just take something that's already here, select that color, then go to our gradient tool. And just go ahead and start swiping in. And it's just going to do the color burning light effect automatically. It's just taking this. If you look at this layer, we have that blue and it's just applying it throughout the image. And the more you do it, the darker it'll get. You want to maintain some lightness in many cases. But I'll show you how this works in other images as well. But you can get a nice effect uh, quite fast. I got some great brush sets in here. I'm just going to bring up uh, Ron's Flourishes. You can get them off of Renderosity.com. Some great stuff. So let me go down here. And these these work as great finishing touches. You can just pick something like this, and it's it's going to work out real nice. Um, so let's create a new layer that we can actually put the brush on. And we've got this brush selected. Let me get white as our foreground color, pressing DX. Right bracket key, get a little bit larger. And let's just go ahead and... I've just pasted, or actually just applied that brush, just clicked once. So let's move that down here. Okay, and that might be too much. It's kind of too, because this is already flourishing. This might be too much flourishment. So I'm going to choose a different one. But let me prove the point here that you can do the same thing with this. Let's hide this right now. Let's just look at our layer styles. And all you got to do, because this is filled pixels, all you got to do is click on the layer styles. And you get instant magic once again. I mean, see how easy that is? See how fun this is? I mean, instant professionalism when done properly. Um, yeah, some of those you want to stay away from. I mean, but these layer styles, they work out differently in different cases. So just find something you like, you know. That's pretty good. Um, you know, of course, you can go in and modify this layer styles here already. Well, we can double click on effects here and say we want more of a drop shadow. We can just click on drop shadow and then we can do our modifications and just get it to where we want. So if we want that drop shadow there, we can just modify it to our own liking off of an already existing layer style. And then of course we can save a new style And that will add to the Styles palette, of course. Press OK. So let's move this beneath. And, yeah, we can just modify that. Controller Command T. Get it to how we want it. You can press, uh, let's see, Control or Command to skew something like this. Uh, let's move this up carefully. All right. Press enter to apply the transformation. And let's get a different lifestyle. 